Product photography can be a challenging but lucrative niche, but it's important to understand how to get the best product images that really accentuate the product you're shooting while at the same time portraying it accurately. There are a number of tricks the professionals use to really highlight product features, but they will tell you that it's the camera settings that really makes the difference. Hi, my name is JR and welcome to PhotographyCourse.net. Today, we're going to talk about 9 best camera settings for product photography. <laughs> Number one is to use manual mode. Shooting in manual mode is one of the fastest ways to improve your photography. It will allow you to set your preferred aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, the three settings known as the exposure triangle. These settings allow you to control how dark or light your image is. When you set the camera to automatic mode, the camera makes that decision for you. But it actually rarely gives you the perfect exposure. Rather, it gives you the camera's best guess, and that's why it's better to shoot in manual mode if you want to get those settings just right. Number two is to shoot in RAW. It's important to shoot in RAW because most of the time, you'll be doing some post-production processing, and the RAW format gives you the most flexibility with that. You can retouch the photo without losing any of the data, and it gives you a much broader spectrum of color, which is crucial for your images when they go to print. Number three would be ISO. For product photography, you'll want to use the lowest ISO setting possible. Number four is aperture. If you have a wide or plain background, you can usually use anywhere from f4.5 to f7.1 for your aperture setting. This will enable you to isolate the subject and have it in sharp focus so that the product details are clear. If you're in a situation where you don't have a plain background and you'll need to isolate the subject from the surrounding elements, then a wider aperture like f2.8 or lower will help you blur everything that's not within the area you're focused on. Number five is shutter speed. With product photography, you're typically not dealing with motion, so you can use a lower shutter speed. This is helpful since you're usually using a narrower aperture settings, which results in less light entering the camera. If you have less light, then you'll need a slower shutter speed to get a sharp image. Number six is white balance. To ensure that the whites and colors in your product photos are rendered correctly, you'll need to set the white balance. This will help to avoid color casts in white areas of your photos and that the colors in the photos are true to what you see in the eye. Number seven is automatic full focus. This setting is best for product photography. The reason is that manual focus can be touchy. If you're off by just a fraction, it can really mess up the focus in your product photos. And for product photography, you want everything to be sharp and in focus so you can portray the product accurately to the consumer. By using automatic focus, you can have your camera lock focus on the subject and that will result in sharp product photos. Number eight would be no flash. If you want to use artificial light for the product, then you'll want a continuous light rather than a flash. Flash lighting introduces certain challenges for exposure. It often creates uneven and hard lighting on the product. It is absolutely a must and you know what you're doing. It should be off-camera flash equipment rather than the on-camera flash. If you can avoid using a flash, that's best. But it's still best if you will not be using a flash at all. Number 9 would be to zoom in. Cameras usually have two zoom choices, optical and digital zoom. Avoid using the digital zoom because it's really just creating a zoom effect by cropping the image and that results in a lower image quality. When using the optical zoom, zoom in as far as you can without going digital. These nine camera settings for product photography will help you take your product photography to the next level by helping you capture great product images. Using the appropriate exposure settings, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, shooting in RAW, using manual mode, choosing automatic focus, bypassing a flash, and zooming in will help you illuminate in sharp detail the product you're shooting. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to visit our website, photographycourse.net. Again, my name is JR and thank you for watching.